In this video, we're going to look at the Simple Network Management Protocol, or the SNMP. SNMP is a protocol that you can install and configure on your network that uses special software to monitor network devices, such as servers, switches, and routers, and provide alarms that tell you when something has gone wrong. These alerts can be communicated to the system administrator using emails or text messages. SNMP provides you with a powerful overview of the health of the devices on the network. The information it provides gives you the ability to spot a potential problem and rectify it before it becomes a serious issue. SNMP relies upon several key components to perform its function. First is the SNMP Manager. The SNMP Manager is responsible for collecting data from network hosts that are being monitored using the SNMP protocol. The SNMP Manager aggregates the information and displays an overview of the current status of the network. Next are the SNMP Agents. The SNMP Agents are small software applications that get installed on the network hardware that you want to monitor such as servers, printers, switches, routers, and even firewalls. The agent is configured to monitor the device. They report events that happen on the device back to the SNMP manager. Devices with SNMP agents running are called managed devices. Finally, we have the Management Information Base, or the MIB. The MIB defines and organizes the parameters, called variables, that the agents will monitor on their respective devices. The SNMP manager uses the MIB to determine what data it will gather from the agents. The MIB is a hierarchical structured definition of variables, similar to a database schema. The MIB is not an actual database, it simply defines the structure of the information used by SNMP. You can use SNMP walk messages to traverse through the hierarchical MIB structure. Each variable in the MIB has a unique number assigned to it, called the OID. SNMP operates at the application layer in the OSI model, and it runs on ports 161 and 162. SNMP communications can occur in three ways on your network. The first option is polling. Using poll mode, the SNMP manager periodically polls the SNMP agents to see what is happening with their respective devices using UDP port 161. These are referred to as GET messages. It queries them for specific pieces of information using the MIB. For example, if the monitor device is a server, it may query the agent to see what CPU utilization looks like. The second option is to implement traps. With traps, you configure your SNMP agents with certain thresholds. Whenever the agent then detects that a threshold has been exceeded, it sends an SNMP trap message to the SNMP manager on UDP port 162 instead of waiting to be polled. The third option is to use SNMP set commands. These set commands are generated by the SNMP manager and are used to actually modify information on the monitor host through the SNMP agent. For each variable you want to set, you need to specify the variable to update using its OID number in the MIB, the data type, and the value you want to assign to the variable. It's important that you understand that older versions of the SNMP protocol were notoriously insecure. Versions 1 and 2 didn't use passwords. Instead, agents used a community name to authenticate to the manager. This implemented a rudimentary form of access control based on the community name supplied. Unfortunately, most people use the default community names of public for read-only access and private for read or write access in their SNMP implementations. Even if they did use a more complex community name, the earlier versions of SNMP sent it clear text over the network. This made it easy for a person with bad intentions to sniff the community name off of the network and then use it to manipulate the information being transmitted between the manager and the agents. If you're going to implement SNMP, be sure you implement SNMP version 3. SNMP v3 uses encryption to secure communications between the manager and the agents. SSH and TLS are supported for this purpose. It also provides more secure authentication options. Currently, the MD5 and SHA protocols are supported for authentication and integrity verification. Also, an alternative type of trap called an inform message is used to increase reliability by requiring that trap messages be acknowledged. The following communication configurations are available. No authentication or encryption, authentication without encryption, and authentication with encryption. In this video, we discussed what the SNMP protocol is and how it works, the components used in an SNMP implementation, how the components communicate with each other, and some of the security issues associated with SNMP versions.